What's up, guys? Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up uh, Shopify Monitor V3 on Mac OS. And sorry if I sound super, super sleepy and slouchy right now. I've been literally working and studying all day. So that's that. Uh, and this is literally like my fifth time recording this because like people need to feel that they need to FaceTime me like 10 million times. So I just had to put my Mac on Do Not Disturb mode. And anyways, so to start off with, since I uh, you need Node.js and like a lot of people, I've always gotten messages saying uh, Node is not a command. Please uh, install Node.js uh, and make sure to download the LTS version, which has the which is the most stable version. Uh, stay away from the current version because you may even if it works, you're gonna you may fall into issues in terms of stability, performance, and whatnot. Just because the current version just features uh, ability to uh, newer versions of uh, JavaScript and um, the uh, V8 engine, if you guys even know what I'm talking about, uh, what pretty much runs Node and makes Node what it is. Um, so after you install that, the second thing you want to install is Brew Package Manager. In order to go on it, just go on your URL and type in brew.sh and to install it, you simply go into your terminal and you just copy this text over here and you can just go into uh, I'm I use iterm2 and you can um, we're gonna make a new terminal window actually just because for the sake of this tutorial so uh, iterm new window default and uh, for the sake of the tutorial we're just gonna split it vertically so you're just gonna copy and paste that in there I already have Brew installed. I don't want to go through the process of installing again, so I'm just telling you the essential commands in order to have it uh, have for the Shopify monitor. After you install Brew, the next important thing you want to do is type in Brew update. Brew update pretty much updates the the registry the uh, registry in which uh, it, um, if you guys don't know what Brew is, it has a lot of essential developer tools that you can use. MongoDB being one of them, which we're going to be installing. And it's just going to update the registry with uh, what's up to date inside the registry and uh, the latest versions of certain packages. That being said, you most likely want to be on a later version of MongoDB for the sake of stability. So after you type in brew update, next thing you want to type in is brew inst install MongoDB. And then after you do that, you have MongoDB installed. But one of the most important things you want to be typing in is sudo mk mk dir dash p slash data slash db and this is going to be where mongo is going to store all the important files in regards to our database if you guys it's mkdr my bad um it's mkdr but yeah that's what you want to type in here and then once you do so um it will create that folder for you make sure Make sure to type in sudo so you don't have any permissions issues. And after you do that, um, you want to type in sudo chmod dash r, uppercase r by the way, go plus w slash data slash db. And then when you type that in, it's going to have full permission access to that folder because MongoDB is going to need it. So just type that in. I'm not going to type it in because I've done this before, but just this is just to simplify the process for anyone that's doing it. And then once all that stuff is installed, you're ready to set up the monitor. So um, to start up MongoDB, you just have to type in brew, and then you type in services, start MongoDB. And yeah, it, I already started it, but... Um, mine's already started. If I wanted to stop MongoDB, all I had to do is type in brew services, stop MongoDB, and that will stop MongoDB. So as it says, it might take a while, so I'm going to let it do its thing. So um, we're going to make a folder on my desktop. I'm just going to make it uh, tutorials, and uh, you can just do it on your desktop, but I'm just going to CD into the tutorials folder. And then we're going to git clone the Shopify monitor. Um, so what we can do is we can scroll up here 
and we can just copy this HTTPS link and type in git clone and then that. And then we're going to CD into the Shopify monitor. And then if you can see these are all the files. The first thing we're going to do is type in sudo npm install. And we're going to let that install. So if we want to start up uh, the MongoDB server, all we have to do is type in brew, uh, the last command that we typed in, brew services start MongoDB. And we can start that up. And then if we want to access the DB, all we have to do is just uh, the logs and everything, all we have to do is just type in Mongo. And then there you go, this is the Mongo shell, and we'll show you all the important queries that are that are uh, being made on the MongoDB server and you can do certain commands if you guys know anything about MongoDB so yeah I can just leave it Mongo and there so I'm just gonna let it do an npm install it just takes uh, about a minute or two but uh, yeah so pretty much it's just installing the important dependencies that uh, Shopify monitor uses and utilizes in order to make it do its thing and um, yeah just make sure to have sudo, as I said, sudo npm install, and it's about done. And there we go. So I'm just going to type in clear to clear this up. And then we're going to type in mv, mv config.example.json, and then space config.json. And then when we do so, the next command that we have to do, which is pretty simple if you ask me, is node server. And there we go. We can access the DB by going to localhost 3000. And there you guys go. That's our that's how you set up Shopify monitor. And uh, yeah, if you want to set up a Slack webhook, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, you can like uh, go underneath if you own the Slack by the way, uh, you can go underneath like a monitor a channel that you have, make a new webhook, we'll copy the link, save it, then we're going to paste that, we're going to hit discord, and we're going to hit save changes, and then if we want to test the webhook, and then it should have sent in, and then it should have sent in the, in the slack, right there, and then afterwards, if you want to add brands, uh, you can do so by just typing in uh, add store and provide the brand name and the pull time that you want and then you can also import a txt file if you like that's pretty simple and self-explanatory from here and if we want to start up our monitor there we go we can go underneath the logs and there you go it's making initial checks if we want to stop it it's pretty simple and yeah so anyways that's Shopify monitor v3 and that's how to set up on Mac OS if you have any questions just let me know and peace